I'm Pastor Salem, and I want to welcome you to the Christian Worship Hour. And we really have a wonderful service planned today because this is our Christmas Eve service. Just think, in four days we'll be in Christmas Eve, and that's the most wonderful time of the year, Christmas time. And so uh, maybe while we're having our opening our letters and all of the rest of it, maybe you can call your friends and tell them to tune us in. This is Christmas, and this is a Christmas sermon, Christmas Eve. We're reading from Luke chapter 2 today, and uh, this is the chapter in which we're told about the coming of the angels and, and the shepherds and the manger and all. Oh, it's a beautiful story. And we're looking at chapter 2, and we're beginning with the eighth verse. And we're told, And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them, and they were sore afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people, for unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you, ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. It's a beautiful passage of Scripture. And before I pray, you know, every, every week we pray for a different country. And today we're going to pray for Israel. And while there is not persecution of Christians in Israel, we are told to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And we know that our brothers and sisters in Christ in Jerusalem the all of the whole little country of Israel is under a, a, a real stress and there's danger on every side. And God says, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. That's what we're going to do today. So Lord Jesus, first of all, we want to thank you for Jesus. Wonderful, wonderful Jesus who was born of the Virgin in Bethlehem 2,000 years ago. He isn't a little baby anymore. He grew to manhood. And as a man in our flesh, except without sin, went to the cross, paid for our sins with his own blood on that cross. For without the remission of, without the shedding of blood, there is no remission of sins. So he paid that price because he loved us. And now it's Christmas Eve and we're thinking about the birth of the Lord. But we think also the reason that he came, and he came for one reason, he came to die for our sins. And so we just pray that, oh God, everyone who's listening in, I just pray for the Christians, that it'll strengthen us in the faith. I pray for those who are in, older and in maybe shut-ins and can't get around, that you'll bless them with the peace of God that passes all understanding. And to those who have never opened their heart to you, we pray that Jesus would be born into their heart today in this service. And we're just urging them to do that, Lord. May the, as the Holy Spirit talks to them, may they make the prayer of the penitent, God be merciful to me, a sinner. Save me for Christ's sake. And then, Lord, we pray for the nation of Israel. We pray for the peace of Jerusalem. Dark clouds hanging over the whole world and over that land too. And so we just pray that you'll turn their hearts to Jesus, that they'll trust the dear Savior and find strength in him, and that they'll give them peace. And, but Lord, we know really in our hearts there's not going to be any peace till the Prince of Peace comes. So we pray for protection and help for them. Now bless us in this service. May all we do and say honor Jesus, wonderful, wonderful Jesus, for we pray it in his name, amen.